As you start your fishing journey in Dredge, you soon realize that the ocean is not just a peaceful place. It is full of different and truly dangerous sea monsters that are aggressive towards anyone who gets close and will surely bring destruction to any vessel they can get their fins on. While progressing through the story, you will come across various horrifying creatures lurking in the depth. But how can you defend yourself against such unnatural creatures? In this video I will show you every sea monster in Dredge, where you can find it and how you can deal with it. So sit back and watch. Before I start with the ranking and the specific ways you can deal with each monster, I will talk about the basic strategies you can use to defend yourself against almost every creature. It is simple as it is useful. When you discover sea monsters of any kind, don't just drive away in any direction. Rather, check the map to see where the nearest port is and head there. If you just run away, the monster can catch up with you on open water sooner or later, depending on how fast you are. So move as fast as possible to the safe zones, like the area between Greater Marrow and Smaller Marrow, or the area in front of the Gale Cliffs, because most sea monsters can't harm you there and as soon as you dock at the harbor, you are safe. The second strategy is more practical, since you don't have to interrupt your current journey. Banish is unlocked as soon as you deliver the third artifact and helps you protect yourself from attacks from then on. It drives away sea monsters as soon as it is activated and keeps them away for a certain time. This works against almost every sea creature, but be careful since the duration is limited and the ability has a high cooldown. The last point I want to address is life points. At the beginning you have three lives and every time you improve your hull, you get one more. It is important to get a lot of life as soon as possible because some monsters inflict 1, 2 or even 3 damage and this can quickly lead to a direct death before you even realize what happened. Enough of the theory. Let's start with the monsters. We start with the smallest and work our way up to the biggest one. If you haven't slept for a long time and panic is at a high point, ghost ravens may appear at daytime. They are more annoying than dangerous because they chase your ship and steal up to 3 fish every time they appear. This can be especially bad if you need certain fish for a quest and they steal them from you. To avoid this you should head to a port or use banish as soon as possible. Jelly bombs are explosive enemies found during the night in Stellar Basin. As its name implies, jelly bombs explode when they contact a ship. As you navigate through the dark waters of Stellar Basin, you must be cautious and maneuver around any jelly bombs in your path to avoid damaging your ship. This is not so difficult because they glow in the dark and are clearly distinguishable from their surroundings. They can be banished, but you can simply sail away to avoid crashing into them. These aren't really sea monsters, but they are just as dangerous and can damage your boat just as much. When night falls and panic rises, rocks appear out of nowhere, even in areas safe from monsters. This happens mainly in the areas near cities, so be extra careful there. Unfortunately, you can't banish these phenomena, so the best thing you can do is turn on your lights and slow down. During the day, no rocks will appear, but tornadoes will. They are not as bad as the stones, because you can see them early enough and avoid them relatively easy. Just wait until the tornado starts to move, and then drive in another direction. The Unseeing Mother is a large piranha that patrols the waters of Devil's Spine. She is presumably blind and needs the assistance of her piranhas to guide her to prey. Because of her blindness, she is immune to the banished ability. But as long as none of her piranhas are around, you are relatively safe, as she would also lose track of you. The piranhas guiding the mother usually hang around in groups of three when they are not with her. They are aggressive creatures that can easily detect you but they themselves cannot deal damage to the boat. However, they can slow down the boat and alert the unseeing mother to your location for her attack. They can be banished, but there is also another way to get rid of them. When you find yourself being slowed by one or more of these, try to navigate to the next possible underwater steam vent. Once you reach it with your boat, the piranhas will disappear. So, to make sure you stay out of danger, always be careful not to get close to the piranhas and if they do chase you, get to a steam vent as soon as possible. The Night Angler is a unique sea monster that mimics the silhouettes of boats and ships sailing through the thick fog at night, giving them the name Ghost Ships. When you encounter one at night, make sure to turn your lights off and do not blow your fog horn at it unless you want to catch its attention. If it does notice you, it will sail towards you. Once it gets close to your visible range, its silhouette disappears and you will finally see its true angler form. Night Anglers can ram your boat and deal damage to it. The only way to get rid of them is to use a banish ability or outrun them. Once you are in the safe areas I mentioned before, they should stop chasing you. If you do see one at night, you can try blasting your foghorn and they can reply with their own foghorn, unlocking the achievement from the fog. I also realized they mimic the exact same sound as you do with the foghorn and I couldn't stop myself from playing around with it. That is art, baby. That's art. If you enjoyed the video so far, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, since it helps out a lot and I would really appreciate it. 
The next monster on the list is the Mimic Crab. As their name suggests, Mimic Crabs imitate rock formations and shipwrecks that can be found on the shores of some islands. They cannot be banished entirely, but they will not attack while their ability is active. Just always be careful when exploring islands, because these monsters can take on almost any shape. The Serpent is a gigantic single-eyed monster in Dredge. This horror is located in the waters between the Gale Cliffs. While exploring this area, you must be careful or you will find the Serpent chasing your ship. It can swim quite fast, as soon as it sees your boat and can be quite persistent when chasing. Phantom Sharks appear when the player has a very high panic in Gale Cliffs and Stellar Basin. Once a Phantom Shark is on the trail, it will quickly catch up to you no matter how fast your engine is. The only way to escape a Phantom Shark is by using Banish ability. Always be on the lookout for them and react quickly when seeing one. Mindsuckers are creatures that live in Twisted Strand and cause intense panic to those who get caught in their gaze. They also have the ability to block off path using roots. There are only three Mindsuckers present in the area all of which can be banished. Also, when completing the quest of the airman, they can be killed permanently. The creature living in the middle of the stellar basin is a huge tentacle monster. It is always active and swimming over the basin will prompt it to attack your boat with its huge tentacles. It is theorized that this creature was what remained from the ooze as it managed to sink into the basin and grow untouched for years. It cannot be banished but completing the research assistant pursuit we give you access to the machine that temporarily repels the creature. Just be careful not to get in the range of the tentacles that can be seen when driving around the basin or make sure to always have the repelling machine activated so the monster will let you pass. When talking about the last creature of the list, I will mention both the good and the bad ending and if you want to experience them by yourself, you should do so. Otherwise, let's keep going. The biggest and strongest of all creatures is the Leviathan. It is a huge sea monster that can sometimes appear in random parts of the open sea, but it always shows up whenever you go to the edge of the map. As soon as you go beyond the map, the Leviathan will attack your boat and eat you. It also appears in the good ending of the game, where it pops out of the water and swallows your boat after you toss the Crimson Book into the sea. It is theorized that the Leviathan is actually the protector of the seas and it is working on preventing the catastrophe seen in the bad ending from happening. Its act of swallowing the protagonist as soon as he gets out of the influence of the creature, either by leaving the area or throwing the book, can be interpreted as a way to make sure that the ritual is halted and does not spread any further. That's all of dredged sea monsters we've encountered so far. This is a fairly new game, so more sea monsters might be added soon and there might still be hidden creatures lurking beneath the deep sea. Which of those monsters do you find the most horrifying? Comment below and let me know your thoughts. Anyways, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one.